Hello guys, how you doing? So, I turned on my Moto E4 from Verizon. Uh, this is the prepaid Verizon Moto E4. Uh, of course, you get that annoying message. SIM card is not from Verizon Wireless, but it's still on Metro. And uh, what I find out is about this. Look at that. Install system update version NDQS26.69-23-2-3. This software update improves the security of your Moto E4. The update will restart your phone. Okay, guys, this is not enough information for me. Okay, improve the security. Where? How? I don't believe in this. All right? Install time, 10 minutes. So listen, guys, I don't want to install this because I think what Verizon is trying to do is, is trying to lock the phones again or not allow people to unlock the phones anymore. So what I want to do is I'm going to stop these automatic updates. And the way to do it is first you need to enable the developer mode. And in order to enable the developer mode, you need to go to settings and you're going to go to about the phone and look for build number. You're going to tap this build number seven times. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are now a developer. Okay. You're not a developer is going to bring you more uh, options. So let's go back to settings and we're going to look for developer options. And here you're going to find something that says automatic system updates. You're going to turn this off. And that's it, guys. That's how you turn off automatic system updates. So next time you use the phone, I don't think you're going to get this. Um, this message and if you get the message they're not gonna um, install the updates automatically so that's it guys I just wanted to show you that um, I just got this today today is what February 23rd Friday it's always good and again please let me know if you have any problems with your Moto E4 a lot of people are complaining about the unlock of the Moto E4 they say that they still get all that message. I mean, that message is going to stay there. I still didn't find a good solution for this message. So for now, you're just going to have to let it let it stay there. Um, I mean, some solutions involve rooting the phone, but I don't like to root the phones. Um, what else? Again, guys, you need to set up your APN settings with these phones. If not, chances are they're not going to work. Another way to do it is you can call your carrier. You can call T-Mobile, AT&T. You can call Metro. And you can tell them, listen, I have this phone, it's unlocked, uh, help me out with the APN settings. And they will do it on the phone. So, all right, guys, that's it. Please don't forget to comment if you have any questions. Again, thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one. Peace.